Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading, my darling Cancers. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for being here with me today and every other day if you decide to stay. Doesn't that rhyme? All right, so this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's coming to you in love. Please understand this is a general reading. So at any point, anything being said here could be a vice versa situation, okay? All right, let's see what's coming to Cancer in love, Spirit. What do we have? Cancer, you have holding back, okay, and a separation. So more than likely, this is someone you are separated from. You have trust here. We're coming to Cancer in love. Someone could have some trust issues, okay? Okay, so someone is definitely withdrawn. They've, you know, basically went MIA, but we do have a fluttering heart here. All right, so let's see this today what is coming to cancer and love please let me get six cards what's coming to cancer and love ace of cups mm -hmm. what's coming to cancer and love so this is either new love cancer or this is like a new beginning in love with someone in particular that is on its way to you and it does feel like um, this is happening with someone that you've been in a separation with more than likely. Okay. This person misses you a lot. What's coming to cancer in love? Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy, such as yourself. It does feel like someone's ready to like confront something with you, have like a honest talk with you about something, cancer. Hmm. This person feels like really left out in the cold. Someone feels left out in the cold. Okay, now you both could be missing each other really badly. I am getting this energy of it being mutual, but please forgive me, Cancer, if it's not mutual for some of you. But for a good amount of you, yeah, I do think it's a mutual situation going on here. Okay, you, probably, you, you both are probably like ready for the separation to end, ready to come together to communicate. Someone's missing you a lot, Cancer, a lot. They can't take it anymore. The Ten of Wands is when it gets too tough to bear they're overwhelmed and it's like look i gotta i gotta connect with cancer i miss cancer i love the hell out of cancer and i just feel really you know it just just doesn't feel the same without cancer being by my side or in my life but the two of swords reverse tells me that maybe something that was being avoided in a situation i feel like this person is ready to talk to you cancer ready to confront something with you whatever that something is okay now, for some of you, there could be a bit of like guilt in the situation, but it does feel like this person wants to admit to something with you as well. They could be looking for, uh, you know, basically to make up with you. They could be looking for forgiveness. They miss you a lot. Ace of Cups for Cancer. My goodness, this person misses you so much. Look at this. Two of Cups. I mean, it's rough without you, Cancer. It's rough. They would feel much better with you by their side or in their life. Mm-hmm. Ten of Wands for Cancer and Love. Ten of Wands. Someone's really missing you. Oh, look at that. Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. You know, you have two tens here. Some of you could be seeing ten ten. Okay. This person has reached the end of a cycle. And that cycle is being without you. They just can't be without you. You know, Taurus came out with a similar reading. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Or you could have Taurus in your, your moon rising or your Venus. But um, that's what it's about. And it does feel like you and this person have some kind of past life connection with one another. It does feel like for some of you, this person definitely is coming in with an apology. You know, this freak basically wants to... Um, Maybe even take accountability for something. That's what's happening here. It feels like someone in this situation wasn't very like good with sharing their emotions or maybe their ego or something like that. Uh, their pride was involved. But they just can't help it. They can't take it anymore. They missed the hell out of you. They do. And they just can't go another day without telling you that, without talking to you. They're tired of living a lie. Six of Cups. Ten of Cups person misses you. All they do is think about you. <laughs> Look at that. Five of Cups. They're losing it. 
losing it. They need their cancer in their life, okay? King of Cups. Well, now we have the King and the Queen of Cups, okay? Either way, no matter what the situation is, what caused the separation, just know someone's thinking of you heavy, you're on this person's mind heavy, you live in their in their in their head rent free cancer. Okay. That's all you need to know at this point. This person has it bad for you. This could be a Libra as well. It's coming to Cancer in love. Can you tell me more, please? Yeah, it does feel like there's some kind of a, a trust issue in the situation. Oh, you and this person are so mean. It's so cute. But this person doesn't want to lose you. They don't want to go anywhere. Um, and once they reconnect with you, Cancer, it feels like you guys are reconnecting for good. This person, they've seen what it was like without you, and that's not what they want. Or maybe, of course, it could be vice versa to where you see what it's like without this person and you don't you don't want to experience that again. Okay. Some of you, this may even be a new love, but abandonment issues, trust issues are getting in the way here of someone having a true a love in their life. But it does feel like someone's on the brink of opening up and really spilling out their feelings and being vulnerable, okay? Cancer, you have um, healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. You have a new love. A new love or recommitment to love is happening. What else do we have for cancer? In love, please. All right, so you have patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing and true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So, like, if this is, like, someone that you, have, you were actually in a relationship with cancer, it does feel like you guys are going to resume your connection. So yes, you guys are going to get back together. I think you both are feeling like, look, we don't want to be without each other. Point blank period. Let's work through this. Let's try to trust the process here. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Lord, so help us all. <laughs> okay, cancer. That's what we got for you. All right. Anything else for the cancer, please? If there's someone that you've been waiting to hear from cancer and you're wondering like how are they doing do they care about you too do they miss you do they love you all these things they do you both are feeling like the absence of each other i mean this is making the heart grow fonder okay hard to say goodbye so this is not someone who wants to say goodbye to you at all cancer they don't this freak does not want to say goodbye to the cancer unveiled secrets yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We have guilt for past actions and behaviors. Stuck and all tied up thinking about you, Cancer. Cancer, what else do we have? Enlightenment. This person's seeing more clearly. Someone's seeing more clearly in this connection. They don't want to lose the other person, period. Mental exhaustion. Okay, awaiting for this union. And finally, it does say choosing the right path for us. So this is someone who ultimately is going to choose the right path, which is being with you. Um, it does feel like somebody wants to, um, you know, walk this road with you. No matter what it takes, you know, things will be hard at times, but it doesn't matter. They just want to be with you. <laughs> um and there could be something externally influencing this too. I'm getting like someone could be sick or maybe they're just under the weather dealing with financial problems or something like that. Okay. But they miss you, Cancer. They do. Aww. They miss you, Cancer. <laughs> All right. Anything else, can Spirit, do you want Cancer to know about this situation in love? Anything else, please, that you want Cancer to know? They want you to know this person's thinking about you. You are on this person's mind. This person is either actively healing or this person is going to forgive you if you screwed up or uh, you guys will get back into balance, okay, in harmony in the future. That is what is coming towards you. 
So I'm getting something like a spirit giving you like some type of reassurance that everything is going to be okay with this person, that they're okay in case you haven't, you're wondering like if they, you know, say for this person has health issues or something, someone's struggling with something right now, then just know they're okay, Cancer. Okay, I see healing and physical, mental health and all these things. Emotionally, there will be healing between you guys, okay? It's going to be A-okay. So thank you, Cancer, for um, being here with me today. If you found this reading helpful, please click the like button for me and share your story down below. Let me know how this story, this uh, reading relates to your um, situation. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.